What's going on everyone? My name is Jericho and uh, these are the type of videos that I, I don't like to make but y you know you're gonna have to eventually at some point if you want people to stop asking about shit. So hey welcome to one of the few times that I'll ever uh, put my two cents, put my two bits, haha twitch joke into uh, the pot of a little bit of drama here and it's not it's, can we, it's not drama. There, it's, you know, very much a legal gray area, and drama should be used to describe petty arguments, not something that could be deemed illegal or legal, depending on where you live, etc., etc. So, uh, I wanted to talk a bit about CSGO Lotto, uh, I may, mostly because... For the one time that I'm going to chime in on something like this, it's solely because two of my very good friends are the direct owners and people that are taking all the flack for this. So I wanted to kind of give my two cents because people ask all the time and I'm getting so tired of just like rehashing the same point. So now I got a video for that. Two, uh, I want to talk about the whole gambling as a whole. And three, I wanted to talk about FTC disclosures as well as like the behind the scenes offers that I get from some of these gambling websites because at this point I feel like it's so blown open that like nobody's gonna get mad at me for talking about, you know, the the secret dealings of email business. Like nobody's gonna, no companies are gonna come out, I didn't sign any NDAs or shit. So I feel more comfortable talking about this. It's socially acceptable for me to talk about this now that it's uh, kind of broken wide open. So first and foremost, let me just say that I'm not here to like defend uh, T. Martin and Syndicate. Like, I'm not. I, I love them to death. They are great friends. And outside of that uh, business decision, as well as, you know, questionable decision making uh, throughout the last couple days, I can't lie to you guys and say that I'm not friends with these people anymore. Because, uh, I mean, my relationship with them extends farther than, than this incident. And to be completely honest with you, I'm not going to let one incident, no matter how shitty, uh, really affect the overall friendship that I've built with these people over the last seven years doing what I do. So hopefully you guys understand that. That said, I'm not defending it because it's stupid and necessary and I am one of the largest proponents for A, not gambling or promoting gambling, B, for disclosing your sponsorships and being upfront with people, and C, just, you know, you know, like, protecting yourself by not being scummy. Like, that's my favorite thing. Like, how do you not get banned from Twitch? Like, don't be a douche. Like, oh, that's a pretty good first step. How do you not, you know, how do you not get people to hate you? Just don't be a douche. Um, and, and they really fucked up. I, I don't know why, I guess legally they got, you know, people from uh, a legal background to tell them that it was okay to do certain things, but, you know, the legal definition doesn't necessarily mean that it's morally correct. That's something that everybody brings up. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the whole situation, uh, I'm not going to explain it. There's 14 trillion videos out there already uploaded about it. So just wanted to get that out of the way because I do feel like, uh, you know, by making this video, people are going to think, yeah, dude, you're shilling out. But no, I, I really wanted to just take this one aspect of gambling that has now recently blown up and then kind of shine the light on everything else. Because shit, dude, there's a lot of shady stuff out here. I mean, and first and foremost, gambling as a whole uh, is and always has been one of those things that's been a pretty divisive thing. I personally don't believe there's anything wrong with gambling. I enjoy an occasional trip to Vegas. I'm responsible with what I do take out and what I use to play and how I spend my money. Or at least I like, think I am. But at the end of the day, I'm gambling is not, you know, is is known to be an addictive thing and it's a hot topic. So I, I've got to say that I don't find an issue with gambling, but I do find an issue with gambling that makes it uh, easy enough for people that are at risk to, to access it. Um, and then, you know, gambling as a whole on Counter-Strike has always been in this legal gray area. For, I mean, you had to, you have to be an idiot not to see that there's no set laws on using, uh, you know, using items that don't technically have real world value because you have to go outside of Valve's, uh, you know, store for the terms of service to not take effect in order to trade these. For, yeah, it's just like, there's a lot of, of things that need to be set before you can say, oh yeah, this is 100% legal, this is not you know, legal. And I remember doing, uh, reading an AMA between the, uh, the video game attorney and all the, uh, Twitter lawyers out there that, you know, they didn't even agree that it was illegal or legal. Morally wrong? Sure. Absolutely. Almost every one of these sites is fucking, ugh, disgusting, morally wrong, and just not transparent. And it's nasty. Almost every one of them. But that doesn't mean that it's illegal. So, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that defense. I don't like that as a, as a reason to do something. And there's a reason that I've stayed away from hotbeds of things that just give me the, that gross feeling. 
Uh, G2A recently had a, uh, a big scandal that I, I thought that everybody kind of understood was real. You know, they, they don't validate keys and they, you know, quote unquote, steal keys and money from uh, developers. I thought that was kind of common knowledge. There's a reason I didn't work with them ever, despite being offered, you know, uh, $8,000 a month to just put a fucking overlay on my stream. Stupid stuff like that. To gambling, where every single one that I talk to that's not based in the United States is run by, like, Dmitry Gorbachev, who is based somewhere in the Ukraine. Nothing wrong with that. Just the fact that he barely speaks English and says, I've got $10,000 for you. It, it, why would... No, man. No, that's not... I'm not interested. It just seems... Like, why? I don't need that. Um, and so when I'm talking about, like, the larger, the larger issue with gambling, it's that it sucks to see two people or three people, I guess, or four, however many are involved with the CSGO Lotto issue. Um, it sucks to see them being used for the post for the poster boy of how fucked up this is, which, you know, am I going to say they didn't earn it? No, but am I going to, you know, say that I can't sympathize with the fact that there's probably, I don't know, I could probably think of like 10 other streamers out there that I'm, that I don't have proof of, but I'm probably like very, very confident that they either own or gamble on sites that they have equity in and are doing the exact same thing without disclosure at all. I, I, I don't, you know, that, that irks me because I want to see a, a, an even reaction to everybody. If you're going to go after these couple people this hard, I want to see that same uh, aggressive, uh, uh, that same aggressive and very fair punishment evenly distributed throughout the whole entire system if it's not set up in a way that is legal and responsible. Like, that's just it. You can't come down really hard once on one thing and then be like, well, that'll stop. Nobody, the FTC or, or whoever didn't find, like, the kid who fucking used LimeWire and got sued for, like, $3 million or whatever. Nobody, that didn't stop me from downloading shit. It's not gonna stop shady sites from popping up in the middle of bumfuck, you know, from being unethical. It just won't. So I want to see a, an even reaction here and not just because it's, you know, oh, they're big YouTubers so it makes it worse off somehow. Like, no, you, it's fucked up anyway, no matter how large you are. And, you know, if you're going that route of not being transparent, then I want to see the same, you know, I want to see that same level of, of, of disdain and stuff go towards everybody else. I mean, for fuck's sake, one of like the head commentators admitted to like using fucking house money and, and roll predictions to be able to win himself back out of a hole to make it look like he wasn't going to lose all his fucking money. And he still works on TV representing Counter-Strike. I like, like, and people forgot about that shit. I mean, at the very least, they stopped talking about it. What the fuck? So let's talk about offers and stuff. I mean, I'm going to just go out and say that I'm not the largest streamer in the world by... Uh, concurrent views. I have a shit ton of followers, all right? On YouTube and Twitch, I have a shit ton. But that's not the metric that you really use to base monetary advertisements off of, right? You use, how many people are going to see this, really? Followers don't matter. If you have a million followers and no one watches, who's going to want to sponsor you? Exactly. So, then, uh, you know, taking taking what I normally have, you can figure it out, uh, and you can, you can, like, kind of apply this to people similar my size, but I would routinely get from English, not like shady Russian sites, which also offered this, between eight and ten thousand dollars a month just to gamble on their site for about thirty minutes a day, ten times a month, with an additional ten thousand dollars a month in skins that I would get to use in gambling. So I was literally being given money that I could use to gamble and not care if I won or lose but promote the act of gambling and the enjoyment of winning and the defeat of losing without actually ever losing anything while also being paid on top of that. And then also not talking about the fact that I'm sponsored by it. I mean, damn, dude, damn. Let's, I, and let's not even discuss like the legalities behind, you know, making sure that somebody's not underage. And I, I really don't want to get into that. I'm just saying that there's a fuck ton of money in this industry. A lot. In gambling, in video games, no matter what it is, the real big bucks, shady or otherwise, are coming in. And when I first started YouTube and that and that shit first started getting sponsors, a couple companies like uh, for for my experience uh, that I that I partnered with ended up to being like the scummiest pieces of shit ever. But they offered the most money. 
Learned real quick not to take the biggest offer because, you know, at the end of the day, give it a couple years, the real, like, reputable companies will come in and you won't feel like a shitlord for selling out for, like, uh, ftenergy.net, the premier energy beverage of, of video games. Like, yeah. You know, you won't have to destroy your character to earn more money. You just got to wait a little longer. And this gambling, key selling, it goes farther beyond that. It goes beyond any of that to just any sponsors in general. If you're not comfortable coming out and saying, I'm sponsored by this, which is required by the FTC, a verbal disclosure, a written disclosure, or an on-screen disclosure, sometimes a combination of the both, more than a certain amount of time, one, if you don't understand those rules, like, why are you in this industry? It's a fucking 12-page PDF paper. Read it, save your job. Two, if you're not comfortable doing that, are you really comfortable working with that company then? Like, I... I love Monster, okay? I've been dreaming of being sponsored by them since I was a kid, and I love the people that I work with there. Razor is the same way. I worked with and was friends with the people at that company for so long, five years before I ever took a sponsorship. I mean, when I work with a company, I'm not promoting something that is just a product. I'm promoting that entire corporation, that lifestyle, everything that they do. You know, it's an endorsement. You should, be, you should feel proud to give your endorsement and you should feel okay with backing it up and unashamed with backing it up. Like if you're not comfortable doing that in the first place, why are you taking the sponsorship? Like if you're not feeling comfortable being upfront with everything and, and explaining to your viewers your relationship with this company as well as why you're endorsing them, then it's not worth your time, your money, and will only diminish your, you know, your sponsorships and promotions throughout like the rest of your career. I've been so, so, so adamant that you should only take a handful of sponsors and they should always be the best, best, people ever like you should be fucking stoked about it you shouldn't have 13 sponsors that waters down your word why am i getting into a brand marketing talk right now i don't know it, it, it kind of feeds on in but what i'm trying to say is that this this whole disclosure and 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 non-transparency really really shines a light on what you should and shouldn't be comfortable promoting if you're not comfortable promoting it and you feel like oh why do i have to do this for the ftc like why do i need to let people know like ooh, they're gonna hate it then don't work with them just don't do it and if you own something especially something that has monetary risk and has always been a hotbed not just in like gaming but forever gambling like be as safe as possible like as safe as possible i fucking overpay my taxes every year why i don't want the irs to come and dick me i i'm scared of the irs i don't want to fuck with the ftc so don't don't do it just don't just be smart man just be smart anyway this is a 13 minute long video where i went through a bunch of shit TLDW watch thing, okay? One, gambling sucks and I'm not ever gonna promote it and I'm happy that something's being done about it. Two, it really sucks that my some of my best friends are caught up in this and I do believe that they had no intention of having this like be such a negative thing, but at the same time, that's not a defense nor am I defending their actions. It just sucks to see them be the poster child or poster children for an industry that is far, far more fucked up than it seems on the surface and the next point because i forgot which point i was on i'd love to see everybody f share the same level of passion and and energy to taking down other non uh legal sites if you really truly aren't comfortable with the way csgo lotto was run it's time for you to start doing a lot of digging into anybody else that is promoting any sort of gambling service at all period do it all right guys i'm out thanks for watching appreciate your faces much love. I'll see you guys in stream and videos later.